Hey folks, so if you're a content creator, you can use this flow to help you generate keywords as well as title and the description for your YouTube videos. We are going to utilize this flow and ask Langflow to help us write a title description as well as a few tags. And not just that, we are going to ask for a thumbnail prompt as well. So we can use this with models like Flux or OpenAI, ChatGPT image generation model and the flow is quite simple we are going to be utilizing the youtube search component this is one of the components available so if you were to search for a youtube search it is something we can easily configure we just have to provide a youtube api key and the way to do that is by visiting console.cloud.google.com and first thing we are going to enable the youtube data api API. This is something you can search for in the search bar available here. And then once we have that, we can go to credentials and in here we can add an API key. And the process for that is quite simple. You can find a lot of tutorials or you can also ask Gemini to help you walk through these steps. Basically, we're going to start with creating credentials here and an API key, and that should give you an API key. Based on your setup, you can say this is for a website or so, and also you can restrict it for certain applications, which is always recommended. Now, once you have the API key, you can add it to the API key section and then configure the number of search results you'd like. I'm keeping it at 50 because I don't want it to slow down the whole process. As you see, it ran for about four seconds and we got the results. And the format it generates the results is basically all of the details for the video. So the title, description, the channel, if there is any thumbnail, and then also the view count. So what's important for us here is that we want to see the total view count of the videos on a similar topic. For this particular search text, which is model context protocol, as I wanted to make a video on model context protocol, and it took the query, it searched for the results, and it came back with all of these. Now we're going to be using the view count, the like count, the engagement overall, and in addition, we are going to look at the title, description, and then send that over. So the data that comes out of this YouTube search component is in a data frame format. And if you come from a data science or data analytics background, you might have already worked with data frames. And if not, Langflow makes it easy for you to convert this data frame into different formats. So if one were to search for the data frame component, you will see there are a few helper tools available. So this is the data frame operations. That's what I used here. I am basically looking to select a few columns from this huge table and based on these columns i want to pass it to the next step so the columns of interest for me is title description view count and the overall engagement and once i pass this over so we can see what was the output so it just took those columns and then it sent it over so i want to parse the columns and i want to send it in a nice readable format for our large language model so what i did is i brought in this parser component which is also something available in the component section. And this can help you format a data frame or data object into a text format that we can use in the next steps. And I am basically formatting it in a way that is readable. So each of the video detail is going to be shown in this format. So if we were to look at the result then we see that each of the video along with its details is available here and now i am going to pass this to the next step and the prompt in general is quite short i'm just saying that this is my video script so i am going to provide the video script that i actually worked on and then i am going to provide all of the youtube videos and then i am going to write a simple system message here and you don't necessarily have to write all of this manually as you can actually ask chat gpt 
GPT or Claude to help you with the prompt generation. So I asked ChatGPT to help me write a prompt, which is going to take the list of YouTube videos as well as the script. And based on that, the task is to generate these as output. So I am looking for a title, which is irresistible, and it should drive clicks and it should have some sort of viral title pattern. So it is going to learn from the previous videos and then also a description, which is going to be SEO friendly and it has all of these key elements to it so that people who are watching the video gets the most from the description as well. And then later on, we are asking for a few tags as well as a thumbnail prompt. Now, if we were to run this, we are going to get the response as we saw earlier, a nice title and description, and then also some of the key moments. So this is nice. It basically went through the timestamps based a script that I provided for my video and then it shows the key highlights. So this is something YouTube can show as chapters. And then it also mentioned the tags and the thumbnail prompt. Now I can take this thumbnail prompt as is and provide this to ChatGPT and we can ask ChatGPT to generate this image. So this was an earlier run of the prompt that was given by the flow. And based on that, we got some nice image created here. And then one could prompt to make it wider. So I realized that this doesn't really work for wider videos. So you might have to use a tool to extend it for the YouTube thumbnails. But this was a nice place to start as I did not have to brainstorm. So pretty much everything I need for a video, a nice title, description, all of the key moments, the tags and thumbnail prompt, all of that is available. And based on that, now I can post the YouTube video and wait to see if it goes viral. Now, this is a flow format. One could also convert this into an agent format where you can ask the agent to perform a task. So now this is taking the prompt from the LLM, is providing as a separate prompt. I am also providing the YouTube video script that I have. So this is the full video script. And then I am providing the YouTube search as a tool. So as running as a tool mode and then provide that to agent. And if you were to ask agent, you'll probably get similar response. And with that, you notice that a simple setup like this can now be your assistant helping with YouTube SEO and title generation.